Artificial intelligence is becoming a bigger part of our daily lives, and we probably aren't even noticing that much. There's a lot of AI-generated materials out there, certainly art. A lot of people are turning to the AI-generated art because, quite frankly, it's a lot cheaper. Guess what? It's a lot faster than doing everything by hand and hiring somebody that's absolutely fantastic and in demand and very, very expensive. So you turn to the AI and cut some costs and get a pretty damn good image. And I do use some AI-generated images on some of my thumbnails because it's really, really easy. Sometimes it's difficult to maybe get that character that you want with the expression that you want. Maybe it's never been drawn. If it has been drawn, the size of the image is incredibly small and basically unuseful for an HD image that you want to upload into the YouTube and stuff like that. And I can tell you right now, if you know what you're doing, you can make a pretty damn slick looking piece of comic book art in a matter of seconds. It's really, really easy to do that. And I think a lot of people are on the lookout for AI generated art, especially covers. And it appears we have the next victim of this witch hunt. And I don't blame people. When I get a comic book, I want the art to be hand drawn. I don't want to pay $6 for something that was generated basically by a robot. Not exactly something I really want to do because I could make my own comic book generated by a robot at home and it wouldn't be very, very difficult. I want masters to be doing it and I want really good covers drawn by human beings. And DC Comics have succumbed to some public pressure. I'm not sure if this is an admission that these covers are AI generated or an admission that they don't want to deal with the controversy, but they've decided to scrap three covers, I think, with Shazam, Wonder Woman, and Power Girl. And there's a little bit of controversy about this. And I must say, I don't know that these are generated by AI. If you look at the body of evidence and you throw it through an AI detector, they will say, guarantee these images are AI generated. But I'm not so certain. And I'll kind of explain that Throughout this video, as I get into the details, DC has removed three upcoming variant covers by artist Dao Jing, a Chinese artist who goes by Austin Gao in America, after allegations that Dao Jing used generative AI, at least in part, to produce three variant covers for upcoming issues of Wonder Woman, Power Girl, and Shazam. DC has already solicited new variant covers for each of the three comic book titles. When the accusations were first made, DC made the statement, DC Comics has long-standing policies in place that all artwork must be artists' original work. We are looking into the specifics of the situation. This follows a similar accusation against recent Batman artwork. And the recent Batman artwork that they are talking about was actually from Andrea Sorrentino, a very well-known comic book artist on the American scene, done lots of work for DC, Marvel, all that kind of stuff, primarily working with Jeff Lemire. In this case, he was doing a flash-forward story within Joker Year One by Chip Zdarsky in the Batman series. I think it was about a three-issue miniseries covering that story, and there's some stuff in the future. And I remember opening the book, and when I was reading it, immediately going, there's something wrong here. It doesn't look like Andrea Sorrentino art. It almost looks like he maybe drew it a little bit and then threw it through AI filters. Of course, there were accusations that came out that Andrea Sorrentino was, in fact, using generative AI for that artwork. It also wasn't consistent throughout the book. And there were some examples that people threw out there said, hey, his fingers look really weird. He's got floating nipples and some other examples of why they thought this was generative AI. I haven't actually seen anyone provide any examples why they think Dao Jing is using generative AI other than it looks slick and it's really, really clean. I guess some people have said he's had an art style change, but a lot of artists change their style. You know, at one point, if you're reading Green Lantern by Grant Morrison. You had art by Liam Sharp, and it was the traditional hand-done Liam Sharp stuff, super detailed, looked completely badass. Unfortunately, that Green Lantern series, at least in my opinion, kind of sucks, the writing itself, but it looks just like Liam Sharp. I think at the same exact time, DC produced a book called Batman Reptilian. I believe it was written by Garth Ennis, but I could be wrong on that one. I might be wrong on that one, but I think it's Garth Ennis that did it. And the art is completely different. It's clear that he was using digital platforms to do like painted style art, which was completely foreign to anything really Liam Sharp had done or been published doing at DC or Marvel or 2000 AD or any of the publishers that he'd worked with. Are we now to assume because the artwork changed that Liam Sharp is using AI generated images instead of producing the artwork himself because there's been a big change? You know, recently we had Fantastic Four Full Circle and traditionally, Alex Ross, the writer and artist of that book, has a very distinct style, very photorealistic. Everybody knows, you know, Kingdom Come, all the covers that he does for Marvel, especially with Hulk and Fantastic Four. I think he's doing Captain America right now, and he has a very distinctive style. Go and look at Fantastic Four Full Circle. 
completely different art style. Are we to assume that Alex Ross, because there was an art style change in that one book, all of a sudden was using AI? I don't think we can assume that stuff. I do think we might be able to assume that if you are using digital technology to produce your art, you might be more likely to be flagged by some of these programs out there that are made to detect AI art. I wonder if you threw like Michael Yannon's art, which is clearly digitally produced through one of these detectors, would it notice that it was actually done by a human being? It might be very difficult because digital art does fundamentally look different than art drawn by hand. There are things about it that are just a little bit too clean, a little bit too nice. And clearly the Dao Jing covers are very, very clean and they're very, very nice. And there are people out there that have used these technologies that detect AI to say he's guilty. Award-winning colorist Jose Villarubia noted on his Facebook page that the artwork by Dao Jing hit a 99% on a popular AI detector, stating, how to ruin your career and reputation as an illustrator really, really fast. Artist Austin Gao or Dao Jing had done a couple of covers for U.S. publishers over a decade ago, but his break would have been these three covers for DC Comics major characters Wonder Woman, Shazam, and Power Girl. He normally works in watercolor, but instead of doing them himself, he made the very unethical decision to use AI to generate the images. And of course he got caught and he denied it and even made fake work in progress photos of tracing of the AI images. And finally DC replaced him and they're not using those covers. I personally am not fully convinced that these AI detectors are all that reliable. In fact, I'm almost fully convinced that they're not reliable. In fact, the first guy that responds to that Facebook post who I don't believe is an artist, but I might be wrong with that one. It just appears to be some bloke from England saying, hey, I, I did a digital painting in 2003, which I uploaded to the internet in 2015. I ran it through an AI detector and it came back 99%. I would say that's a major league false positive unless we think Mr. McGovern, for reasons unknown, is lying about that. Maybe he's actually Dao Jing's uh, best buddy or something like that and he's trying to run cover for him, but I don't know why he would do that. And I do think there are a lot of things out there that can provide false positives when it comes to AI art and creating it digitally and being very clean with your line work and your coloring and all that stuff likely will result in a lot of false positives. Like I said, throw Michael Yannon art into that thing and see what happens. Throw some Clayton Crane art in there and see what happens. Artists that are definitely known for using digital art styles. Maybe Stephanie Hans, another fantastic artist that appears to do a lot of work digitally. And I think you're going to get a lot of false positives on this. And him saying that he's always done watercolors is not true. I've seen images from DeviantArt, from Dao Jing, that have very similar art styles to the covers that have been pulled. You know, the coloring is very similar. The, the line style, styles are very similar. And they were uploaded in 2011. So they're at least 13 years old. He's also done a lot of videos about how to make like American comic book char characters and stuff like that that look very similar, at least the, the line art itself. And he's done work in progress videos of that art and you can see him drawing it. So I'm not completely certain, you know, because he has shown his work and he has shown a style that doesn't only use watercolors, it's very similar to the covers that are being pulled. And we might just have a, a crazy witch hunt here where people are being wrongly accused for doing something. And I'm not saying that he didn't use AI. I don't know. I'm just saying if you go by this AI detector, I don't think that's very reliable. Stating that his style has always used watercolors, that's not true. There's an entire book produced in 2021 of Dao Jing's art, and the cover is clearly not watercolored. It's clearly colored exactly like the art that is on the DC covers that were pulled. There's a decent chance, or I want to give him the, the benefit of a doubt, that he really drew this. It doesn't have the weird hands. It doesn't have the weird anomalies when it comes to anatomy. Those are very clean images, and they look like how you would expect a, a body to move. It looks like how you would expect a hero to be portrayed on a comic book cover. And AI is getting much, much better in you know, I don't want to put a time frame on it, but in the not too distant future, you're just not going to be able to tell anymore. It's getting that good that fast. A lot of those weird things where they'd have six fingers or all of a sudden like there would be an elbow coming out of the back of their head that shouldn't be there. A lot of that stuff is not there anymore. The really telltale signs that people were using AI to generate art in the very early stages where you could clearly see it, a lot of that stuff has been cleaned up and the AI is getting better and better at producing, quite frankly, professional level artwork 
you know, using these softwares and these tools out there. And I think a lot of people that are guilty and not guilty are going to get caught up in this witch hunt that's going on because nobody wants to see AI art basically infiltrate the industry. Maybe, you know, the best selling cover in one year, a year later, you find out that was AI to begin with. And then Marvel and DC are like, do I want to pay this guy $5,000 to generate a cover when I could just hire this digital artist guy that can work with the program and produce five of those in an hour? you know, for a pretty decent wage and maybe some benefits or whatever, there's a good chance that uh, if AI gets good enough and undetectable enough and accepted enough by the comic book buying audience and people are like, you know what? I understand that this variant cover wasn't actually drawn by a person, but it is a one in 1000 X-Men cover. It's something that I collect and it is really cool. I like Beast the way that it's portrayed there. Maybe I'll still spend the 900 bucks on it or whatever that a lot of these people could be out of a job. So I understand the pushback and all that stuff, but I also understand the implications and how dirty this could get and how a lot of innocent people could get caught up in it. Dao Jing denied that he used AI to create the covers telling YouTuber to a uh, quad rhinos. I haven't used AI, but I am an artist who was hurt in this witch hunt. I've been in the industry for over 30 years and my drawing has always been traditionally by hand. As Dao Jing notes, he regularly works in traditional areas of drawing and often shares videos of him creating his art on social media. However, while he has shared what he purports to be sketches of the above covers, he has not shown a process video of the covers and critics of his allege that he creates the sketches after the fact. He also noted DC and I considered changing the cover because the controversial image might affect their sales. It does not mean it proves that it is an AI work. And I do think that's probably the most damaging part of it. The fact that DC pulled it it almost does appear, even if they meant to, to make this statement or not, that they also believe that it was AI art. But obviously they told Dao Jing that it's actually, we don't want the controversy, it might affect sales or whatever. But people are definitely not giving this guy the benefit of the doubt. And you know, I wanna believe the guy. I've seen his style. There's plenty of images, black and white in color, that are very, very similar to those covers when it comes to the line art, uh, the work going in there, the coloring style the very, very minimalistic backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. It does feel like his style and it has been his style, at least from what I can tell from at least 2011, he's at least been using this style. He hasn't only been using watercolors and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Do you think that those were generative AI covers? I can definitely see it. They're very, very clean. They're very, very cool looking and they do look like something I could easily produce using mid journey or something like that. But, if you look at his drawing style, and I'm not like the world's greatest art critic, and I've, you know, I'm an artist myself, and I can tell all the things, but I do see similarities. I, I do see a style in those images that he's actually produced before, and it makes me think, well, maybe he didn't do it. Then you got the McGovern guy saying, hey, yeah, I ran my art, which was created before generative AI was even available to the public through the AI detector, and it says it's AI. It clearly isn't because I created it, you know, in 2003 or whatever, and I do think we might need to take a step back on this one and let people defend themselves. I understand he hasn't produced the work in progress video, but he might not have made a work in progress video on those particular covers. He might not have had a video ready or a video idea to upload to social media or YouTube, or I'm not sure exactly how he does it. I know he had like a masterclass, like art creation series that he does, which you can see images there are clearly watercolor, but you can see other images that are much more closer to the covers that DC Comics pulled you know, he, he hasn't produced it. Maybe he didn't record it. I imagine he doesn't record work in progress videos for everything. He records it for the stuff he plans on uploading to YouTube. Maybe he's not supposed to prematurely show DC covers. And he's like, well, why record it? If people aren't going to see it until DC Comics announced it anyway, you know, I did it a month ago or whatever. You know, there's a lot of reasons that this thing could have happened. But I think just jumping to the conclusion that he must have used AI to create the art I do think uh, it, it's not very fair to the artist, especially to the, the the amount of work that he has out there that is very, very similar to what he produced for, for DC in those covers. But I definitely want to hear from you guys. Do you think that the AI detector is accurate on there, that it's that is foolproof? Because I don't whatsoever. If you're a fan of his, do you think that that fits in the style of what he's done in the past? Or are you completely convinced that those are AI generated covers and DC Comics did the right thing? Because I'm sitting here in the middle going, I can see both sides, but I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards the artist because quite frankly, I don't think there's any real evidence that it is AI other than people saying it kind of looks that way. I don't, I just don't buy 
the detector because I think it is very, very fallible at this point. If you would like more conversations about AI art and all things travel books and covers and reviews and all that stuff, and if you haven't checked out Thinking Critical Patreon, that's the place to be. Lots more comic book talk going on over there in the form of podcasts. Eight hours of new podcasts coming out every single week. New stuff on the Patreon essentially every single day. If you haven't checked that out, there's a link in the video description.